Any an animal should uh, take care of my kids. Come again. The animal should take care of my kids. Your I kids. I, I don't think that I, I don't think that, uh, uh, I should get extra money from someone to pay my spoof, my child's school fees. No, I think that the, the, the chief should. Do that for you. Do that for me. That's, that's my my inspiration. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mohammed, and we are here to talk about livestock farming. I'm here with my brothers, and we are here to talk about sheep farming to be specific. Hello, my guys. Please introduce yourself to me. I'm Hakam Lukman. This and is Salim. Salim. Okay. And this is Rafiq Ali. Yeah. Okay. So you yeah. do the business together? Yeah, we do. Uh, we are uh, we are uh, we are into partnership with the uh, okay. sheep farming. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 All right. Tell us, mm. take us through how did you get started? How did you get inspired? Mm. Let us know. Uh, okay, it started about uh, barely two years ago. Okay. And then uh, uh, I started with about uh, was it 12 youths. Okay. Then about three three rams. Okay. Uh, with, uh, like, in the ascending order of age. Okay. Then um, what inspired me was uh, I, went, I visited someone's farm in Mohane about just same year. Okay. About 2021 20, or something like that. Okay. The way I saw animals, it made me happy. Then I said, I bought, uh, the first that I bought like three animals, the local breeds. Okay. So I found out that this, these animals, I bought them like 300 ganses. Okay. So eventually, if I want to sell them, I'll sell them virtually like 300 ganses. I said, oh, no, no, no. These animals will not give me profit. Okay. Desired. So okay. I decided to what? Wait. To switch to, to this uh, Sahelian and uh, those kind of these animals. Okay. Yes. So I went to, he told me how to keep these animals and uh, the requirement for these animals. Okay. But you know, sometimes some secrets are there, you can't tell you. Yeah. You have to hide some of them. I still don't start to see. So I bought like, first I bought like, um, was it four? Okay. Yeah. Even this, four, none of these four is here. Okay. Mm. Only one. Yes. Mm. I bought one with the child. And that mm. child is here. Okay. I don't see it. Well, it's, because like very small. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Because very small like this. With the with the with the mother. Okay. I removed the mother. I left the, the child. Okay, this guy. Yeah, yes. this this yeah, this one. Okay. Guy. So that's how I started. Mm. And uh, then later once well, I had one guy called Chairman okay. who goes to Mali and stuff. Okay. Uh, Mali and uh, Burkina okay. Faso, then he goes there to buy those animals. Okay. So when he brings an animal that's it's good for it. Good for it. For you call. He calls me. Okay. I go there and buy. No, I was so inexperienced. So I was just cashing out money. Cashing in. Cashing out money. <laughs> okay. But no, I, I don't even know how what will happen. You just do it for the love. I just do it for the for what? <laughs> for they deserve for it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I said no. Let's start. Mm. Uh, I started. But you know, everything has its own challenges. Okay. So the first thing was that. One thing was that the hard work was very difficult for us. Okay. Because we didn't know what what is called hard work in sheep farming. Okay. Have we understand? Mm -hmm. We didn't know what what because the cleaning of the place, the water training, you know, those things we we thought like nature will handle it. Okay. But we thought uh, but later we said we have to handle it. Okay. Have we understand? Yeah. So you see the how need the place yeah. every sure, morning. Sure, sure. We have to what to scrub and yeah. what and sweep. Mm -hmm. Have we understand? Yeah. If possible we have to spray. Okay. And one thing was that the first the first, the first, about almost every day we used to slaughter animals. Yes. Wow. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, almost every, every day. day. Mm. Well, during the rainy season, the time that that's around the peaks of the peak of the rainy season yeah. from uh, June, July, August, September. Okay. Because I slaughter about seven animals within a month. Yes. Mm. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Yes. Because every time, yeah. So all these challenges. Hmm. It was easy. So how were you able to overcome that? So what happened was that I I got even fed up with the array of animals. Even when I come here, I don't even enter here. Okay. I'll just go straight to the the cattle pen. Mm. I mean, understand mm. the cattle mm. shed. Yes. Okay. So I went to one guy, one guy called Amiyao. Okay. He inspired me that normally I shouldn't give up. And one thing I know, may I know one thing? When you start some things that are not going well, then that's your what. That's where the, the way is. Okay. But when you start things that you see that everything is going on well, you feel at the end of the day, you see you crash. Okay. You understand? So that's where I started. I said, well, let, me, let, me, let me start. So I started buying again. I bought, I guess, a few. Okay. I started with the local ones too. Okay. Because someone told me that the local ones are hardier yeah, than. Yeah, to the. Yes. Yeah, so to the environment. Mm. And one guy told me that, that me out told me that. No more, if you control pneumonia within them. Okay. 
and clean the animal and uh, then clean the pen very very well. Then often spray you see that you overcome those kind of okay during those rainy season challenges. That disease that's normal pneumonia. Okay. Uh, and if you go can I testify to that yeah. pneumonia is always there. Yeah. Problem. Yeah, they're a problem. Mm. And, you know, here they, they don't have those kind of extreme cold, uh, or extreme, let me say, no cold particularly. Mm. Humid area, humid. Yeah. Because here, during the, during the rainy season, the environment is very, let me see, let me use the word, humid. Okay. So you see that sometimes it get, easily gets cold and stuff. So mm. you see that pneumonia is setting and, uh, you know, it makes them fall sick, so you have to improvise and what? Give them some shots. Okay. I'll call them to come and give them some shots. Sometimes okay. I also do it myself. Okay. Um, because of what? Uh, small some small experience, I, I, I got it. Okay. So, and normally, I buy sometimes of late. One guy who inspired me that, uh, Mr. What's his name? Uyibaba, medical, medical and he's called, uh, he told me that normally don't buy animals that are. Uh, Good looking, you see that when someone yes. says, Oh, you see them like this animal. Um, this, what is it? this animal, and this, this, this that, like this, something like this. Yeah, so when you buy like this, you see that it's, it's just normal. Okay, but when you buy someone who is like this, this one, this one, lean, lean, and you and you also work on it. Yeah, so when you look at the animal, you get some inspiration. Yeah, okay, to continue. Like, yes. how oh, okay, I am the one who did it. Yes, uh, I did it. I, yes. I did something like that. Yeah, yeah. so this, like this, this animal, one. for instance, when, when it came, yeah, it was as slim, slim as this, this animal. Okay, yes. about that was about two, three months. I bought it in uh, was it, uh, May. Okay. Me, I bought it to me. Okay. The, 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 what, the kid, the kid was very young. Okay. Then, after, I know oh. with proper feeding the kid, you see that it's mm. not, it's not improving. Even okay. though it's not up to what you want, standard like this. Yeah. I can understand. Yeah. So, but with time, uh, I, get uh, I get them. And another place, I bought some of them from uh, like other farmers, like this one. Okay. I bought it from a a, 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 a friend called Amiyao. Okay. He had a lot of sheep, so I had to. Mm. I bought this one. When mm. I bought it, it was pregnant about two months from the purchase date. Okay. It, 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 it gave birth a little. Uh, so I bought, I bought uh, around five animals from okay. it. Okay. And so far they are doing good. Um, okay. Uh, Apart from that, have you been encountered with animals before starting your own? Like taking uh, care of your dad's farm or your brother or anything like no, that? No, uh, even the, the house I came from, even even they didn't even want even a, a fowl in it. Because my grandfather was very strict. Okay. So she didn't, he didn't want to... Uh, hey, uh, not Napa. Uh, I know, I mean, sometimes... <laughs> he was having his origins. He was having okay. his origins. He said okay. that they littered the house and yeah, this yeah. kind of thing. I mean, he's an old soldier like that. Yeah. You know, and um, that was it. And, you know, I'm an animal person. I love especially those kind of livestock. Okay. Not I guess animals, livestock. Mm. So I, I do love livestock and you know I started farming about a long time ago. Mm. You know, because I started farming like in take four or something. Okay. And, you know with challenges and stuff, with school and stuff, you know things don't work the way you think they should work because mm. of uh, we're not around and stuff. So yeah. you know that's how things are. Okay. So that's what brought us here. So what's what's the plan? You have spoken of the challenges that you have been through mm -hmm. and how you've been able to mm -hmm. come uh, overcome them. Mm -hmm. What's the future for Lukman farming? Mm -hmm. Is that Lukham Farming? Lukham Farming. Look 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 yeah, yeah, alright, alright. So. Okay, um, you know everything has a target. Yeah. And my target is like uh, maybe I establish a bigger farm. Like this. Okay. Uh, there's one guy who in inspired me. Was it? Is it? In, is it in Burkina Faso? Or it's one of different time. He has a lot of sheep. Is it a Gambia? Gambia. Diallo farms. Diallo farms. Yeah. Gambia, yeah. Yeah. Diallo farms. <laughs> okay. uh, you know, and one thing was like, and there was other. What? What he so inspired me was there's one guy called uh, what's his name. Semisha farms. Okay. Fred. Yeah. Fred. Fred. Yeah. He's one of the. the yeah. So what happened was that. He swayed me a little bit mm. because he started with cattle. Okay. And he told me about he was saying about bacteria, so many grasses. You know, I read a lot about those grasses and stuff. So he inspired me to go into cattle farming, but later on the sheep farming experience, let me start and see because sheep is an animal that you can easily sell. Okay. You can mm. You can easily sell as compared to cattle because cattle need a lot of. Uh, Time. time and stuff. And one thing we got, I cut it for the uh, first time. Yeah. Sorry. And um, one thing about this is that uh, the sheep farming, when you want to just slaughter an animal and for your own 
Come again. The animal should take care of my kids. Your I kids. I, I, I don't think that I, I don't think that, uh, I, I should get extra money from someone to pay my school fees, my child's school fees. No, I think that the, the, the chief should do that for you. That for <laughs> that, that's my my inspiration. Uh, mm, that's that's my, okay. my motivating. Okay. So that so that any I don't have. So any the money I get from other sources is for other stuff. Okay. Uh, mm, the animals will take care of your kids. Mm, that's what that's my. Uh, that's your thing. No, for now, for now, this is just for the for the for mm. sort of term, short to medium term. Okay. The uh, long term, yeah, you know what commercialization and stuff. Yeah. It's, uh, it's something that. Uh, but, but it's a good idea. Mm, you like, sell one, you can pay yeah. fees then, then every uh, yes. every, time. every time. You can sell one and pay fees. Pay fees yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. It's a good. So that's how that's how it is. Okay, mm. let me ask you this thing. Mm. You started with your own, trying to buy the experience yourself, mm. go through the challenges. Mm. What will advice will you give to someone who is planning or who wants to go into sheep farming? Or in livestock farming, what advice would you give to the person? Uh, there are two, there are two ironic or there are two construction ideas that I've learned over the years. Okay. That's one from Dan Goethe. That was what you have to know everything about the business you are going to go into. Okay. Before you start it. Mm. But it's not. Let me say, it's good to say that it's not that uh, all that true. No. To, to understand. You can know everything. You can know everything before you go to. Yeah. Uh, into the business. Sometimes you have to know a little. They know about getting to about fifty percent of it. Okay. So the fifty percent is a place you gain yeah, during the activity. Yeah. Have you understand? Yeah. Um, I think that's yes, just just then and uh, and another one is just there's one there's one this and they say uh, well, well, there's one one week uh, Robert Green book one three strategies of war. He says that okay. keep, keep your that's lots tell or the second the tell laws under there. Keep your current state of mind. Okay. Sometimes when your mind talks to something, I think that that should be the the best idea. Okay. Because when you listen to so many, you see that you tend to cloud your judgment and stuff. Yeah. So when you skip to your current state of mind or your current, just uh, uh, the way you think this should should be done, your guts. Let me see your guts. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the best way to do. Because okay. no one understands you better than you. Okay. Yourself, and no one understands what you are doing more than you. Yeah. You, it can work for him in a way. It might not work for you. Yeah. I think I, I understand. So I think that's how it is. Okay. How many of my videos have you watched so far? Uh, I've watched. I can't. I can't. I can't tell oh, <laughs> because <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I watch. I'm, I've finished watching your video. Yeah. And that's why I realize I've watched your video. Yes. Mm. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, when you see the video, what make me interested in your video? What you are just watching? What you are yeah. Watching. yeah. So after okay. watching it, you now see the name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. That's okay. What happens. So, so, okay. Mm. Mm. So, how is video important in learning these things? Uh, if it's not video, some of the things I've, I've, I've experienced or some of the, the information I've had so far wouldn't have been. Wouldn't have been. A, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't have, I, wouldn't have had, I wouldn't have had those information. So okay. Mm. You, know, you inspire me a lot because of the. But the way you see someone doing something, yeah. oh, let me just try it. Yeah. Uh, but for you know, some of them you have to travel far. Yeah. But you, you, your videos have brought them near to my mm. phone. Have you understand? Yeah. Because if I would to travel from Europe to go and see someone's animal, yeah, it's the cost alone is better. But yeah. I use two CD data. Yeah. To watch you on yeah, yeah, social media, then learn whatever I want to learn. Yeah. yeah. Have you understand? Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, so certain things are very, very, very important. You know, I think that the comments too. Yeah. The comments too. So that the comments the people first people ask questions. Yeah. And through the comment sections, the replies of those questions, you also get inspiration from yeah, yeah. you get the answers and uh, yeah. so sometimes. So because you can have the person can ask a question which is bothering you. Yeah. And the response they get they they uh, like what you need. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. what so yeah. that's how it, it helps us. Okay. I think that's okay. So have you sold some before at Eid? Have you tried selling or uh, for money? Mm, I saw like um was it two. Okay. I know one. I saw the only one. Okay. And that was in the eat. 
Okay. Uh, so and I, so I use one for my brother's adoring. Okay. Uh, so I think that so far that's the benefit of Hasbro. Okay. And it's 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 quite okay. Mm. It's not, it's two, not, two for yeah. Two for adoring. Yeah. Two, yeah. two. Two. Uh, two for adoring. Mm. Mm. Two for adoring. Well, it's it's part of the help. It's part of the Instead yeah. of you taking money yeah. to go and do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. For that one. Yeah. It's it's really a help for that. Yeah. 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 But you see this kind of videos. Though I've I've been able to interview a lot of big guys like Yagbi as we were saying. Mm. Easy farms, Sana farms, and things. But they all started like this way. Mm. Do you get it? Mm. So that's why I, I interview everyone. Only if you if you have one goat and say, Mohammed, let's do this. The knowledge is the important thing that I want. Do you get it? Because someone will watch you and say, Oh, that means you started this way. The next time I come, I see something improvement. Say, oh, okay. This is how you did it. Do you get it? Some people they will see things and they get scared. Oh. This guy is having like a hundred animals. How how will I be able to do that? Mm. Do you get it? By seeing how you guys are starting, simple structure, you can do it. Someone will also watch and say, oh, okay, this simple thing, he's able to do it. I have wood, I have this, I have zinc. I can also start like how he's doing. Mm. So I interview everyone. Okay. And we are here to work together. Inshallah, agriculture, especially livestock farming, will be great one day. Boss, let's hear from you. You are also here helping small, small. What experience have you gathered so far? Or... <laughs> For me, what I've learned so far is just about the, what's the name? Uh, when a ship is sick. Okay. Or when a ship is not feeling well. Yeah. If you look at it, you guess by your, by your observation. Yeah. You know that this ship is not feeling well. Okay. But first, you didn't I, know. I, yeah, I didn't know what, okay. you know, when a ship is not feeling well, I didn't know what to do. Mm. To, 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 to do. Okay. But now through my boss, all these things, I now have much experience okay. about the, 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 the ships. Mm. Yeah. Just like uh, the day before yesterday, we, we had some tragedy. Yeah. Uh, what I'm having to say. This mm. this this small ship. Okay, let yeah. take it up and let's see. The small ship. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this one. Yeah. He lost his yeah, mother. Yeah, he lost the mother. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry, so, sorry, my guy. Now we are now every, every blessed morning we'll go and give it a, we'll, we'll buy a, this one was in the middle of milk. Okay. To just be feeding it. Yeah. Mm. So now this, this that's our, our, our challenge now. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh my guy, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> He has mentioned about how he is able to identify a sick animal. What diseases does affect the animal? Yeah, okay. most of the time. Um, most often. Most of, mo most often is the what, uh, what the name? Uh, the what the name? The pneumonia. Okay. But here we we call it support. Support. Uh, yeah, okay. that's what we call it. Yeah. Mm. We call it support. Yes, uh, something that affects the lungs. Mm. And you know sometimes. You know, we are always observant of the the, 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 the nostrils and the mouth. Mm. When the nostrils is wetry, and that's when that is coming in. Okay. I know it, it spread very very fast. Okay. Because the oh, because that what it contacts the water mm. or the feet. Yeah. yeah. So until the the water go, uh, the the mouthy mouth or mouthy nose goes into the water. Okay. All uh, affected or all, all animals, healthy animals that drinks from that water or that feed from that trough, okay. we get affected. Okay. And that's basically that's what the, the disease we have uh, we are experience now. Okay. And another one is just the uh, malnutrition. That's and that's another disease that people don't talk yeah, about. Yeah. Malnutrition that's uh, that's that's lack of what proper minerals. Yeah. Uh, proper uh, mm, proper vitamins and that's what we supplement with either those kind of uh, vitamins and uh, yeah and uh, mm. Okay. So what feed do you give them? Sheep. What feed oh, do you the give feed, them? The, the feed the feed yeah, yeah, a lot. We give the they, they give the varieties of we have the uh, normal normal uh, what's the name? We feed them with byproducts. Okay. Uh, normally we have the the cowpea cowpea stove okay. or cowpea stove or, or the pots. Yeah. We have the the what's the name? Rice bran. The rice the bran. The maize the maize the, the maize the, the maize chaff. Or maize chaff. Yeah. Uh, we have the wheat bran. Yeah. I uh, have the cowpea. Mm. I hear cowpea. Uh, yes. Yeah, cowpea. Uh, yeah, I say cowpea. What's the name? Pigeon pea. Pigeon okay. pea over. That's the one called called advanced. Kajanus. Okay. Kajanus kajan. Uh, that's what we use. And uh, um, basically that's how. And outside feeding. Okay. They grease a little bit. Though, but we don't let them grease too much. Okay. So, uh, because the greasing sometimes affects them. Mm. Uh, okay. A lot of. Uh, we do them too. 
from time to time. I think these are the basic things that we do here. Mm. Mm. The basic things. Mm, these are basic things. Wow, let's see. My brother, do you have something to add? No. <laughs> Why no? Yeah. You also? Yeah. You also? I, I normally feed them. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, mm. that's the rule that I'm Okay, mm. you, you feed them, you make yes. sure that, oh, everything. Yeah, okay. So how many times do you feed them in a day? In a day, at least three times. Three or times. Four. Okay. Mm. We always make sure there's always feed them in yes. their troughs. Okay. Uh, All the time. All the time. Because mm. after that, you see that we, and we, we human beings that sometimes we have a time that we feed okay. or eat. Okay. Half of them, they're... All the time. Every, every time, they're there. I mean, until the, the, uh, feed, uh, the, f uh, the food me for move from the room to other stuff. Okay. They try to fill the room. Yes. Even though they're not hungry, but yeah. they, are, they, are try, they try to what? Okay. To fill the room. Okay. Uh, how will you compare sheep farming to cattle farming? Mm, in which way? Which way? Profit and taking care of them. You can you can give me three benefits, of three negatives of you get it. Um, uh, if, uh, sheep is a complex, uh, it's a complex animal. As okay. To cat, cat, okay. Cat, uh, you can, you can, you can feed virtually on, on anything. Okay. Apart from what is the synthetics. Mm. So far, it's pork based. Mm. You can feed anything. Yeah. But sheep, you have to be careful. Mm. You can feed something to the sheep. Okay. Next, the next, the next day, na, uh, we are crying foul. He's going to a butcher house. <laughs> okay. And I just change your feed. Though. Okay. But cattle, you have, you don't have such experience. Mm. And one, one thing about cattle is, what do you say, the sheep, the, the, in, for me, yeah. One guy told me that sheep has some kind of advantage over cattle and sheep. That what you can use sheep for? Okay. You can use cattle for that thing. Okay. Also, you can use sheep for outdooring. You can yeah. use cattle for outdooring. Mm. And one thing about like. In Islamic religion, for instance, yeah. you know, virtually almost most of the the prophets had sheep. Yeah. Because that's how important it is in our yeah. in our deen. So that's why one, one of the reasons why I keep sheep. And in North here, we respect sheep more than yeah. 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 We respect so, sheep. Mm -hmm. We respect sheep. If you give them, every every house, yeah, household has it, at yeah. least yeah. sheep or goat. Yeah. But cattle, there. cattle requires a lot. Yeah. That's one thing about it. Yeah. It requires a lot okay. because they're feeding. You know what, what happens that an animal feeds about three percent of its weight. Okay. I understand. So yeah. if a, if an animal a sheep is like fifty kilo, fifty kilos, so mm -hmm. eventually you feel like around let's say like seven kg a day. Yeah. I understand. But yeah. a cattle which is about two hundred something, you need a lot of feed. <laughs> yeah, to, that is true. You have to get a truck to bring, bring the feed. Yeah. Yeah. But sheep, yeah. you can just put your motor, get That's your motor small. bike. They're going to bring the feed. Yeah. And it will be, it will be okay for them. Yeah. 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 So, a few animals. So, their feeding is not problem like cattle. Cattle, cattle, yes. you're quite. doing the dry season. Okay. Let, yeah. let Azuma have no idea. Mm. I come to you, Mr. Luham Farms. Luham Farms. Luham Farms. They see you. Please, I have like, I have an idea that I want to go into sheep farming. Mm. How much capital do I need? I want to start like three females, one male. One male. Oh, let's say I want to go into sheep farming. What advice would you give me? Mm. The first advice is uh, know what is called sheep. Okay. I understand. Yeah. Know what is called sheep. Okay. And before you go into it, and you know what, know what is called sheep is, is like what I'm saying. It's about something. You have to know what. You are going to start, start for okay. what sheep one. You have to know what sheep do you want. Okay. Okay. And your environment too. Mm. And sometimes, I <laughs> know. If your environment is good for this Sahelian, so yeah. even though this our environment is not good for the Sahelian, but you try to improvise what yeah. to make sure that you give them the what the needed environment. Okay. Someone can decide to well, I want to and know the type of system you want to run. Okay. You should know the system you want to run. Okay. Yeah, you want to run intensive, the semi intensive or what? Okay. The ex extensive. Yeah. I mean, understand. Yeah. We decide to use the semi, yeah. but it's more inclined to what the intensive. Yeah, just some few hours of what to visit, uh, and then they Let come back just for the sunshine. There's some few, some few grasses, and they are they, they are back. Like when you came, I mean, you saw you saw them outside. Yeah, yeah. Said, that was when when the time for them for us to clean this place. That's when we sent them outside. Okay. Then, so you decide on what which side you want to use. Okay. Then uh, and you know that the house. Another yeah. important thing is the house. That you know, know if you some people they don't even house 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 housing for the for the sheep. Okay. I understand yeah. that house for you. Just the animals, but you got to do it. They are not afraid of the, the rains like the goats. Yeah. They sleep outside. You know, they, are, they are affected with so many stuff. Yeah. So you know what you want. Yeah. If you want profit, you have to what? You have to get the housing. Yeah. To pay the feed. And another thing, what I always advise on people that is get the feed before you start. Okay. 
get the feed before, before you start. You start. Yes. Because when you don't get the feed before you start, when they come, you don't know what to feed them with. Uh, okay, and yesterday I was interviewing Figo. He said, know the source of feed, where you are going to get your <laughs> feed from. <laughs> Before. Before you get here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Another one is um I just forgot some about that one. And also 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 gets also gets also gets a vector officer already. Okay. Because you are setting up. Okay. Certain things you don't know, especially the health. Yeah. So you have to get them you have to get them close by. Okay. So you have their numbers. So when one day when you encounter a problem, then you what you call them, they can assist you. Yes. I don't understand. Um, but that's I think virtual, that's how you, you go by that. Okay, sense. your last message to Ghanaians because this video maybe mm. you get like 1,000 people watching all over the world. Mm. What advice will you give um, to us? The, the advice is just that never give up whatever you are doing. Okay, because if I had given up, you wouldn't have been here. Sure, yes. sure, sure. So, yeah. Because I encountered the first year. 2023 was, was massive. Okay. It was wasn't a good crowd. Because the animal death were alone. Charlie, he discouraged me. Yeah, yeah. But two other farmers again. Because when I went and saw his farms, and the farm has been there for three years. Okay. I said, oh why? Then if it's three, if I've been it has been there for three years. And he told me that none of use his use or his has ever been there, apart from the little one, because okay. they are very delicate. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. the cold can affect them. Yeah. So he told me that, oh don't give up. So that's why he said, oh. You see the animal well fed, yeah. shiny, and so all these people they are, they are doing something with them. Yeah. That's why I can also do that. Yeah. So they never give up, get inspiration for others. Yeah. Those who are in the business before you sure, are. Sure, sure, are. Sure. And even those who you even came before. Yeah. Or those who you came before, those who the lesser people. Yeah. They can have they've learned some lessons. That, that is true. That so is true. Oh, I also make friends with those who are worse. Yeah. Who are building network, network, building yes. connections. You got some animals that are there that you might want money. Yeah. That's all my one animal. Yeah. So through this network, yeah. you just sell the animal to the, the, the next farm. Yes. Okay. I mean, so you just you just uh, get your money. Yeah. Or you can have an animal that you want. That's all also has animal. Or you also have an animal that you just swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People do do that. that. Yeah. 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 Business, yeah. Or maybe I want I have a female, but I want a male. You also have a male. Yeah. You want a female. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bring yours and take that. Yeah. People do do so that. So don't 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 never give up. Okay. Whatever you are doing. I think that here is a normal thing that we see. Yeah. But I think I, I, I really mean it. Yeah. I really mean that yeah. thing. Yeah. Because you have been through this. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. But it's your last message to us, Ghanaians. I'll also say what he just, I'll add up with what he has just said. Yeah. It's just that when you are doing something, you have to be serious. Yeah. yeah. Because if you are not serious, you waste your money. Yeah. Because this livestock like this, it's, it's not, it's not, Small money that you, you buy, yeah, yeah. These days, mm -hmm. and they are very expensive yeah. these so, days. <laughs> so, if, if if you are about to do this, yeah, you have to get the knowledge, yeah. you have to, you know, like what you said, you have to get the we have to get friends who are doing it, yeah, and you have to, you know, have much information about it, yeah, before yeah. you start it, okay. and then never give up, give up to once you see it, okay, all right. Tell them to subscribe to my channel later. Uh, subscribe to Fafra, uh, Mama Fafra TV. Okay. Yeah. So the most sure. liable and the most. Uh, what, 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 what are you <laughs> <laughs> the most reliable, the most informative yeah, okay. livestock yeah, yeah. farmer oh, channel. Wow. Yes. wow. Always wow. subscribe to us. Yeah. the best. It's the, the best. best. Yes. Yeah. TV. It's my, the my, best. My head is fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank, yeah, you, yeah, thank, yeah, you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Yeah, give your number out. Maybe someone um, wants to connect us with okay. you. Okay. It's 024-799-799-8090. 80, 90. No, come again, please. Come. 024 